Welcome into our Locked On Sports Special Edition for the NBA trade deadline. And one of the most active teams today is the Toronto Raptors. So we are here with our guy, Sean Woodley from Locked On Raptors. Spoke a little bit earlier about the trade involving Kelly Olenek. One of the better trades of the afternoon, just in terms of what the Raptors can do with that trade and Ochai Obaji for the future but this is an interesting one that just came through as well, where we're hearing that the Toronto Raptors are getting Spencer Dinwiddie, Brooklyn Nets are getting Dennis Schroeder and Thaddeus Young. So when you saw that trade come across the waiver wire, Sean, what were your thoughts? Huh? Uh, same, <laughs> same. I think my direct quote. Um, yeah, this is a weird one. And yeah. ultimately, it's a money move uh, from basically every indication, right? Dennis Schroeder was due about $13 bucks next year on the second year and, and last year of his contract. Spencer Dinwiddie is about $18 bucks coming off the books this summer. Thad Young, also about $8 bucks coming off the books. So the Raptors add, what, the math is hurting my brain. But instead of having $8 bucks come off the books, they get uh, $10 bucks. It, it, it's... It's a nice little extra bit of savings, I suppose. Mm -hmm. It is an interesting one, though, because Dennis Schroeder has actually been a very nice backup for this team. He was way overextended to start the season as the Raptors starting point guard and kind of ruined their offense in many ways, just kind of commandeering possessions. But since the Raptors have reshaped their roster with the OG Ananobi trade and the Pascal Siakam trades, um, you know, Dennis has really just assumed the six man role that he's always been best at. And he's mm -hmm. been a pretty effective player. He's been sort of the on off king as far as his plus minus when he's on the floor for the Raptors over the last six weeks or so. And look, no mm -hmm. one has very good on offs because the Raptors have been miserable in that time. But his sort of guiding of the second unit and sometimes closing games like he did last night in Charlotte have been mm -hmm. pretty effective things for this team. And my concern was that the Raptors were going to trade Dennis Schroeder for like picks and unusable players who just were salary filler and i don't think that's the case here spencer dinwiddie comes in and can actually be a good backup point guard for the raptors to close the season and i think that's ultimately what's important here for the raptors yes there's the savings but also i think the last 30 games here for the raptors a team that's been in flux for the last six weeks has not had a team of any sort of note together i think it's really important as they try to lay down a foundation for what they're going to be going forward to mm -hmm. have a meaningful last 31 games, whether they push for the yeah. play in or not, I don't think it really matters. They're going to finish sixth, seventh, eighth, or ninth, probably in the lottery odds. They owe a top six protected pick to the Spurs. They're probably not keeping that pick anyway. And frankly, there are some benefits to just deferring that pick and, or sorry, conveying that pick and then getting all control of their picks back this summer anyway. And so I think Spencer Dinwiddie allows them to, be competitive, try to win some games, but more just try to play competent basketball while also saving them some money. So I don't hate it, even though I was not exactly itching for Dennis Schroeder to get moved because I think he's been a yeah. totally fine player for the Raptors. Yeah, and Dinwiddie was, of course, traded from the Nets to the Raptors along with Dennis Smith. Is that kind of just a toss-in, or do you see any viability there for, for this team? I'm not sure we have the confirmation that Dennis Smith is involved. This is the thing that's going on today is yeah. the nonstop. Uh, is this the trade yes. or is there more right. to come? I don't actually think Smith is going to end up coming to the Raptors mm -hmm. here. If he were, that'd be great. Um, mm -hmm. And a little nice defensive backup point guard option for the Raptors. But I don't think that is actually in the move here. Uh, the okay. other thing, though, is Thad Young goes the other way. And look, this breaks my heart personally as someone who <laughs> loves that young who loves a 6'8 old man ymca game throwing around cool passes and being completely physically overmatched I, I was having a really good time watching Thad Young, who's played some really nice ball for the Raptors over the last six weeks or so. Uh, obviously, he was going to be an expiring guy. He was not mm -hmm. part of the long-term plans for this team. And Kelly Olynyk kind of renders Thad Young's role on this team moot because Olynyk's just better at it while also being three inches taller, with the which the Raptors desperately need, just size-wise. And so that bums me out as, as part of this trade more than anything else, I would say. But mm -hmm. overall, a fine piece of business that I don't know if I'll have really strong opinions on barring, you know, Spencer Dinwiddie coming in and being some sort of electric six man of the year candidate over the last 30 games of the season. Well, we'll keep our eyes posted on it and peeled because yeah, like you said, many of these deals, we're getting these reports and we understand that they need to be consummated ultimately uh, by the two teams, or in some cases, three team trades. And of course, by the association. So we'll see where Smith lands. Thank you so much for stopping by, Sean. We appreciate you. Of course, for all Raptors news and notes, check out Sean Woodley on the Locked on Raptors show. And of course, it is part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day.